What is going on, everybody? It's Swaggy Noss, and I am back with another Black Ops 3 gameplay commentary here for you. Uh, pretty excited to make this one. I just made my video yesterday talking about my inactivity lately and my schedule and all that. So I'm glad I was able to get off work uh, like an hour early tonight and uh, get this done. So I'm playing some Team Deathmatch here. I'm using the Pharaoh. Um, not really sure what attachments or anything, or if any of you care. But uh, yeah, so I'm using the Pharaoh. Um, pretty good gun. Um, not much more to say about it. I've talked about it enough, I'm assuming, in my past commentaries. So you all know and love it and hate it when you're playing against it. So <laughs> yep, it's the Pharaoh. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what I'm talking about this video. I just kind of wanted to make one because I, like I said, I, I do enjoy this. When I have the time, I want to be able to do this and make these videos. I don't know how. I mean, maybe I'm just being stupid on that guy, but I don't know how I could, did not kill him earlier, but. Um, one thing I did want to talk about was the, uh, new DLC content coming out in this game. Um, for PS4 users, it's coming out February 2nd. Um, for us Xbox dudes, it's coming out a month later or so. I'm not sure if it's exactly going to be, uh, March 2nd or not, but, uh, yeah. So, that's that. Uh, it looks pretty exciting, though. Um, some of the maps look really cool. I, I, I don't know if I've done enough research to say I, that there isn't. But I don't think there's going to be any, uh, what's it called? I'm not even sure what the thing's called anymore. I used to love it, though. It was the uh, obstacle courses that you ran with the uh, new mechanics in this game. I forget what they were called. They are time trials, I'm not sure. But uh, I don't think they're having any DLC for that, and I'm kind of bummed. Um, I'm assuming they're going to do it sometime in the future. Um, and they may even be doing it for this one. I just, like I said, I haven't done enough research to definitely state whether or not they're doing that. But uh, I really want to see that in the future. I absolutely love those timed runs, and uh, I love trying to beat my best score and doing it over and over and over, getting really mad when I'm not doing it correctly. <laughs> and uh, it, I, I just find a lot of fun in that. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, I, I hope sometime in the future uh, they can bring those out and do some more of those because I really enjoy them. And I know a lot of other people do, do too. And uh, for those that are new to the game, it actually helps them a lot. So uh, if you're new to the game, if you haven't really played much, um, and you're trying to get used to this movement, uh, I definitely recommend going to try that out. It will help you if you just sit there and play it and restart and restart and restart and go over and over and over. Um, that really helps the movement in this game and help you understand what's going on a little bit better. So yeah, I'm, I'm really hoping that they bring something new for that because I've already done all four of the ones that they've given us. And uh, I want to do some new ones to test my skill on the new ones. So hopefully that comes sometime. Uh, the maps in this DLC pack look really good. Um, I think there's one called Splash that everyone's like raving about. And I just got a triple grenade there. Um, but yeah, everyone's raving about, I believe it's called Splash. And uh, I'm super excited to try that map out. Um, obviously, I'm not going to have any gameplay of any of those until uh, uh, March or so. Because I'm not going to get the uh, map pack until then. So, But uh, that map looks really cool. Um, I was seeing somewhere, I'm not sure, I never, like, read into it, so I just kind of saw a headline, and, uh, someone was saying that you might be able to slide on the slides in that map, and that's pretty nutty, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool, but, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see, we, uh, we're not gonna be able to see any footage until, I don't know, the next few days, I would assume, I think some people get early access to that stuff, so you'll probably be able to see it before February 2nd, because uh, I think a few, like, premiere people get to, uh, go out and test that stuff out and upload a few days before, so. I'm sure there'll be plenty of footage, uh, out there here in the coming days, and, uh, yeah. If there isn't already. <laughs> Once again, I'm not sure. Um, I may just be talking crap right now. I'm not, I'm not completely positive on all this, but, um, that's why you should never go to YouTube videos looking for definite for information, I guess. Uh, some people do, um. Maybe that's something I'll try and get better at in the future, is researching before I talk. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is going on in the DLC. The zombies, I'm pretty excited for that. Um, I'm not sure if it's anything like the uh, Shadows of Evil map. I probably won't play too much of it. Just because I, I, I'm just not really into the whole super confusing zombies. Um, the Giant, the one that I've uploaded here on YouTube, I don't think I've uploaded Shadows of Evil, but I've uploaded The Giant. And um, I really like that one just because it's like simple zombies. Um, there's a few Easter eggs if you want to do them, but you, you're not forced to to get farther in the get farther in the game. So yeah, I'm not real big on the whole uh, confusing zombies. Um, 
I don't know what it is. I just I I just can never get into it. Um, who knows if it if it's any I mean if it's like an exact replica, just a different map of Shadows of Evil. Um, I mean I might try to get into it, but I'm I'm just not sure at this moment. Um, cause I really like I thought Shadows of Evil. I mean I thought Shadows of Evil was cool and all. And, like don't get me wrong, but I just I don't know. I don't like. I just didn't like doing all the steps and all the tedious work. I just kind of like running around and killing zombies, you know. But uh, in Shadows of Evil, it seemed like there was a lot that you had to do just to uh, unlock certain things that you're supposed to have in the game. And I mean, once again, I completely understand why they do that. There's a lot of zombie fanatics out there who love solving mysteries and love doing all that stuff. And I completely understand from a business standpoint. But um, for me personally, in my own opinion, um, I just like the simple stuff where I just run around. I can uh, do anything really, just shoot zombies and stuff, so that's what I enjoy doing. Um, but yeah, that's basically my commentary. This game's got a little bit left over. Um, I don't think this score was anything too crazy. Uh, I'm not positive, I didn't check beforehand. Uh, most of my games aren't though, so <laughs> that's why I say that, just assuming history is going to repeat itself in this video. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said in the last video, if you watched it, if not, go check it out. I might annotate it on the screen here for you and uh, put it in the description. But um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you've been here for a while, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so go check out that video and uh, you'll get some insight as to what's going on in the next few months for me. And uh, hopefully that doesn't leave you confused when you don't see me uploading constantly like I planned on doing so yeah go check out that video this has been your boy swaggy nos i appreciate each and every one of you love you all and i will see you all on the next one